Благодаря, господин председател. Thank you, President. I have to admit that given the loss of human lives and destruction, it's very hard to talk about other kinds of damages caused by the Russian aggression in the Ukraine. The truth is, however, that more and more people in Europe feel the economic burden and problems caused by this aggression. In the first place, all this is due to the intentional destruction of natural water and energy resources of Ukraine by the Kremlin regime. The Kakhovka Dam, for instance, was a huge blow to the tourism in neighboring countries like Bulgaria. But there is this threat that will persist even after the war, which I hope will be over soon. It will be a fact even after we overcome economic problems. And this is a threat to our health as a result of this aggression, because we remember Chernobyl, and we're appalled by what might happen as a result of the destruction caused by the Putin regime. Thank you. Kanev. Thank you very much, Mr. Kanev. Mr. Kanev. Mr. Pitikofer. Bitte schön. Thank you for taking my question. There are actors that aid and abet Russia's war of aggression. What is your opinion on the question of whether we should also make those countries that aid and abet Russia's war of aggression responsible and also try to make them pay the cost? Thank you very much, uh, colleague Bettyhofer. Uh, I think it's in a way part of our next debate here in this hemicycle. Uh, but yes, I think that uh, facing this war, uh, we must keep in mind, always keep in mind, that the free world is not a notion from the past. That there are a lot of countries, including prosperous countries, who are helping now Putin to sustain his war efforts, and I'm absolutely certain that we must stay united, not only supporting Ukraine, but also impeding these attempts. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kanev. Now, Mr. Ross Sempere, please, one minute. 